Greetings and salutations, and I am curious to how many stupid comments I get on this video, because on my previous video I got someone complaining about how my build doesn't do enough damage when it wasn't designed to do... Yeah, never mind. This is a support build, so shock horror. It's not designed to do damage, it's actually designed to support, ironically. And I thought the best way to test this would be to, one, do the Iskal Queen on hard, who I've done once or twice before but that was on normal just to learn her so i thought screw it i'll go on hard and i'll go in on with randoms and just see what happens and surprisingly we did it first go well at least when i joined them it was our first go as a group of three but yeah in total i don't think they mind me being there and being a complete dip in the dps however um, there were a few times where it was notable that I did heal them and save them and do other things and revive as well as buff. Um, ring choices were a bit questionable for this fight. I wasn't really too sure on how well it was going to go, but they were personal choices for me and I do hope that they uh, appreciated what I did. Overall, this build isn't too bad. It's not got the greatest amount of survivability. It's not got the greatest amount of DPS. It literally is just pure support. As for the weapon mods, they are also going to be a little bit more supporty. For this particular one, I went for a little bit more of a DPS side because I wasn't really too sure on what sort of supporty-ish styled mods would even really benefit, maybe buffing a bit of damage. The uh, howler's immunity for a bit more defense she hits pretty damn hard in normal anyway so i wasn't really too sure if that would make any difference at all doing her on hard and um hard to say i did appreciate using my little skulls just to get a little bit more dps in there um obviously where mine is lacking so that kind of helped out a little bit but what this set really revolves around is quite simply the fact that we have three piece elders which has a 25% chance to not actually consume a dragon heart when you use it. I don't know whether that counts for reviving as well, as well as the Mender's Charm. So 50% of the healing that I do to myself using the dragon heart also goes to allies. It also gives them a, I think it's 20% buff, which is a uh, kind of handy. As for the weapon choices I've gone for, I've literally just picked the Chicago typewriter simply because at base form with no buffs or anything to bolster the weapon, it does have the highest DPS simply because it has a very high rate of fire as well as a very high magazine. So overall, this is what I used particularly for the Iskal Queen. I've got the handgun revolver with the Mender's Aura. Chicago typewriter with Beckon or whatever you feel fit to use guardian axe for the double in a double amount of mod build up the elder set as i explained because it gives us a chance for a free dragon heart mender's charm because it heals allies and i'm also running the provisioner ring so that after i'm done healing or reviving i can go straight back into firing as well as the band of accord so that i can help provide ammunition on pickup to my teammates as well as it gives more ammunition as well hope this gives you a few ideas in the meantime, have fun.